Hello sweeties and welcome back to my channel and this video that's going to be in let's go all in with color and this time it's pink and I know that you voted for teal and teal is coming the only reason why I'm doing pink now is because Colourpop actually they sent me the Oolala, but I already had the Oolala, so I actually gave the Oolala that they sent me to a friend. Uh, and this is my Oolala, so I wanted to use this palette, and they also sent me uh, a Super Shock Shadow in Slave to Pink, and I thought that this would like the perfect color to go with this palette. And you also said that you wanted me to use a bit more of Super Shock Shadow, so I thought that this could be a good opportunity, because I think that this one is really pretty. And they also sent me the pink mascara, so I do have pink mascara on. So I just wanted to try these things and since they sent me this really, I think it was like Valentine's inspired box, I thought it'd be perfect for me to do a let's go all in with color and do it with pink. I am doing the teal though, I promise I'm doing the teal, I'm gonna try and have it filmed next week. Yeah, I'm gonna try and have it filmed next week, I'm not making any promises, but at least that is something that's on my mind and it's happening. So I'm not gonna have a pull up here like I usually do when I do these uh, Let's Go All In With Color. I do monochromatic looks with a color, like with a color when I do these. And normally I have a pull where you can vote for the one you want me to do next. But actually last time I had a pull and you voted for teal. So I'm still doing teal and I'll have to pull it out. I'm also showing you two different lip options in this video. I am wearing a liquid lipstick, a metallic liquid lipstick right now. But I'm also showing you um, at first I'm applying it with a gloss and this is the Taurus gloss by Wet n Wild and that's the one I have on while I'm doing this look. But yeah, let's just get into the video. I'm sorry for blabbering a lot, but let's just get into the look. Okay, so let's get into this look. I have only swatched the Oolala palette. I haven't worn it on my eyes, but the palette does contain a couple of shadows that I actually do have as singles. And that is Softcore and Poodle and also Sandbar. And I love all three of those shades. So I have very high expectations on how I am gonna feel about this this palette. I'm also going to use one of the Super Shock shadows that Colourpop sent me. This is in Slave to Pink. This one uh, came a little bit smushed, but I just smushed it back together. You can see that this is a beautiful bright fuchsia, oh there you can see. It's a bright fuchsia pink and has like a lavender bluish uh, glittery shift to it. Uh, it's very pretty and I thought that we could use that and just make a very pink look. It is after all, an all-in pink. I'm also gonna be using one of the Colourpop Cream Gel Liners. I just bought this one, it is in Boots. And then, of course, uh, Colourpop actually did send me two mascaras, um, and they're both called the Volumizing Mascara, and one of them is in Pink Ink, and the other one is in Black on Black, which is the black one. I haven't used that one yet, but I'm actually, now that I have, uh, hold it? Have I hold it yet? No, I don't think I have. But I'm, I'm either way just gonna put it in my lash drawer and start using it so that I actually can... Oh, so that I can review it when I'm uh, holding it. That's a great idea, Angie. So this is what the pink mascara is looking like. Smells just like mascara. I think the wand is nice, but it's a bit big. Because I, I actually don't have that big eyes. I just have a lot of lid space, but my eyes... Like the actual eyes? The eyeballs. <laughs> They're not humongous, okay? I need me a smaller one. So we'll see how I feel about that. But I think I'm gonna put this one all over my lid. So I'm just gonna do a very pinkish crease. I think I'm just gonna start out with Poodle just to have something going on in my crease. Let me get my Veramone color switch out. Uh, and let's see what I can use. I'm just gonna use a very fluffy brush. I really need to clean my brushes. That is disgusting. This is uh, from Wet n Wild. Um, it doesn't have a name, it's the, the, the fluffy crease brush. So I'm gonna use Poodle with this one just to uh, get something started in the crease. And like I said, I have used Poodle from before, so I do know that this is very pretty and very pigmented. I'm just using it with a uh, very fluffy brush to use it as a transition color, but still have it to be pink and fit the pink theme. As you can see, just using Poodle on its own is a very pretty shadow and you could like you get the pink look just by using this one. So if you want to have a pink look and you don't want it to be as vibrant as the one I am going to do, just using Poodle uh, on your lid and just maybe deepening it up with like throw, trove, trove. <laughs> could be a very pretty pink look without being as like 
in your face as this look is gonna be because I already know. I know where I'm going with this. Okay, now I'm gonna go into Sandbar, which is this one right here. It's just a very, very bright, neony pink. I know that this one on Colourpop's site is, I have a little fluff here, is actually uh, labeled as a pressed pigment because I don't think that this is considered eye safe in the US, but I'm pretty sure that it is in EU. So you do what you want with that information. And as you can see, I'm just basically patting this on in the crease, same spot as I had a poodle, just a bit lower, and then I'm just blending the edge. And I'm doing this not because I think that this is going to be hard to blend, but because I want it to be as pigmented as absolutely possible. I'm also taking a bit on my lid, basically, because I know that I'm going to have that super sharp shadow over. Um, and if anything like peeks through, it's better that it's a pink. I have a little fallout. Let's get rid of that. Where did I put this? So this is basically what it's looking like right now. Let me use a bit of this soft brush and just go over the edge a little bit. It's very pink, it's very bright. Uh, I'm gonna have a little bit more here. Okay, time to do the same on the other eye and then I'm gonna use hmm, one of the darker ones to just deepen it up a bit before we go into the Super Shock Shadow. Okay, so since the Super Shock Shadow is like fuchsia, almost purple, shifty, I think I'm gonna use Caddy just to deepen this up a little bit. So I'm gonna put that in my outer corner just a little bit uh, to make, not to like super deepen it up, but it's always nice to have something to give a bit of a dimension to the look. Although maybe sometimes I like having just one color on my lid as well, like in my crease, not doing something darker. So it depends on what you're going for. But if I'm doing something dramatic, which I most certainly am today, uh, I do prefer having something darker somewhere uh, just to break it off and create some dimension. Literally just like this. I see that I didn't put any pink on this lid either, so I'm gonna do that first so you can see like the difference. Now you can see that there's not a lot of difference when I put the purple on, just a little bit to bring something of a like dimension to the eye before I put the the shimmer on. Even though a shimmer in itself is gonna obviously bring a bit of dimension as well. I'm gonna do a bit of caddy, like the purple and also the pink on my lower lashes as well. And I'm actually gonna blend it down a bit because, well, we're doing dramatic, but I'm starting with the purple and then I'm bl blending the pink on top of it. Um, so it looks pink, but just get some depth and definition. Okay, time for the Super Shock Shadow. This is, like I said, called Slave to Pink. And my preferred method with these are just with the finger. I normally don't do something like super detailed with these, just because I like using them with my finger. So I just go in, where did I put it? Here, can you see? <laughs> I'm trying to see in the viewfinder. And I just... I have heard that people use these with like, um, what do they call like the sponge tip applicators? I don't think I saved any. I sh maybe I shouldn't have thrown away the ones from like sleek makeup. I could have, oh, I got lip gloss on my finger. I could have saved it and I could have done something. But you can see that this brings a lot of like sparkle and definition. And at the edges, I basically just tap. You can see I'm just tapping to make it blend into the rest. Especially if you change it to a finger that hasn't had any color on. And that is what it looks like. It looks like wet. It's really, really pretty. I'm looking in the viewfinder, it's super pretty. Let me do the same on the other one. Mm. 
And then of course the trick with these is to like really really tighten them. That's how you don't get any like they don't dry out on you. So this is what this one looks like right now. I'm just going to go and clean this finger. Look at how pretty this is. I don't know if you can see because I don't have the autofocus on. So I don't know why I'm holding the hand like an idiot, but it's really, really pretty. But yeah, I'm going to go and clean this hand off. Why did I hold it up like that? I, you don't even have autofocus on. It's such a pretty color. Clean my hand and then we are doing inner corners, waterline and mascara. Oh, I'm so excited about trying the mascara. Pink mascara with this. Yes, please. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is use this Boots. I've only used this once, but boy, is this super, super, super pretty. I'm gonna use this in my waterline to really make this look extremely monochromatic. Okay, I'm gonna use a bit of this one that's called Tickled. It's like a, it seems very flaky, but it's super beautiful, but I think I'm gonna spray it a bit. It has a bit of an almost blue, shift to it or blue tint uh, and that's why I think it's gonna go so well with this super shock shadow and I'm gonna put that in my inner corners but it is slightly flaky so spraying it is probably a good idea I always miss when I spray I'm the worst so I'm just gonna put that in my inner corners that has a really pretty pink undertone That's actually super pretty. Let me do the other one as well. Okay, I think I'm done with the look. I'm just gonna use this pink ink and I'm gonna use it on both my lower lashes and my upper lashes. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do my lower lashes first and then I'm gonna find one of the uh, curlers. Oh, I like that it's like, you see that it's got like a waist, makes it a bit easier to reach the lashes. very pigmented okay I'm gonna use this curler which is also pink <laughs> it's from H&M Beauty it's pretty old though and it's pretty dingy but let's use this one and just see if we can get this mascara to look good without any falsies I'm gonna do my best I have to say, I'm really impressed. This mascara is making my lashes look really good, which is really nice because I have a black one that I can try as well. Let me um, let me do the other lash, like the other eye, and I'm also gonna try and put on a second layer just to see like, ah, how that agrees with this mascara. Okay, I have to say, I am pretty impressed. If the black one works as good as this one, I think I might have found another mascara that I really love. Uh, you know that so far I've only really loved the Benefit Bad Gal Bang mascara. That's the only mascara that I've used where I'm like, you know what, I could skip falsies. But I do feel like if, if I'm like, my, my lashes are pink now, but if this black mascara works as good as this one, I feel like this could be a competitor. This one is more volumizing than the Benefit Bad Gal Bang, and the Benefit Bad Gal Bang is more lightweight and maybe elongating more, but I do feel like my lashes are looking bomb AF. I also thought that I was gonna show you a different like lip option, because I do have some lippies um, that I haven't tried from makeup store, uh, and they're both pink, so I thought that I could show you a lip option. This one is in, this is a metallic li liquid lipstick in Diva. It is like a fuchsia. It would go so well with these eyes when we're talking monochromatic. This is a matte lipstick in Pink Blush Eden. I have to show you this one because I didn't know this before I opened it, but this is actually apparently part of a limited edition collection because look at this packaging. Do you see how cool and matches like my background? And it has like water droplets on. Oh, it's so pretty. And it's a very also fuchsia pink. Should I do the metallic one? Because I have never tried the metallic. Like I have never tried liquid lipsticks at all from a makeup store. So maybe I should try the metallic just to see how it is. But just want to show you that packaging. So let me let me put this one on and show you a different lip option and i'm also going to zoom out a bit and maybe even zoom in a bit so you can see how the eye look with the lashes are looking a bit more zoomed in okay let me fix that i'll be right back 
Okay, so I changed the lipstick now to Diva from Makeup Store. This is what it looks like and it's pretty much matches the eye look perfectly and I think that that is pretty fun. Let me see if I can zoom in a bit and you can see like the eye look. I think the mascara is looking pretty nice, like I feel like it looks okay. And yeah, that is pretty much the finished look. That is a look with the Ooh La La palette together with Slave to Pink by Colourpop and I am really I'm really liking this look. It's I mean it's it's really extreme. I mean I'm not gonna lie, it's very extreme, but I do think it's fun and I did do a all-in look with pink, even though I know that's technically not the one you voted for. Why am I sticky? But I will do the one with teal as well. I'll try and make that happen. Like, I'll try and film it next week if I have the time. I am doing it. I have already planned in my head what I'm doing. So at least the planning process is already done. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. If you want to be subscribed, I do upload quite a lot of videos. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!